Hold it right there. Whoa, hot blonde picking up a bag of cash outside of a Denny's? It smells like shit, and it's not the Denny's. No, it's justice. It's the cops. What? It's fucking cocks being blown, bro. Look. Dude, don't fucking move. Let's look at this big shitty van. Let's do it. Get over there. Oh, blow me, check it out. We got Jewel God and dumbass friend at the scene of a drug deal. What's going on here, huh? Pull your shirt up, you have a dad. What are you looking at, dumbass friend? Filthy. Shut your ugly eyes up. What are you guys doing here, huh? You getting a little pancakes? A little fucking crack? You guys hanging out in your little van? Pink. Why you guys look scared like you a fucking bunch of virgins? Now you two fake dicks, chill there. With your dumb fucking sundress. You two, back up. Limited two assholes. Take a seat. Hey, Coxby, go ahead and run these names. We got a Brittany Howard and a Chrissy Anders. It's funny you guys even have names considering you're just crack whore one and two. I don't smoke crack, motherfucker. I sell it. The butt crack one, or? Did you say your name was Officer Blow Me? Are you sure it's not Officer Peg Me? This is good. This is good. How is this good? Oh, I don't know, maybe the fact that 30 seconds ago we had a fucking gun to our head and now we're gonna walk away from this alive? Do you get your hair cut at Supercuts? Because it looks like fucking shit. Your weave is beautiful. Get your ass Let's and go, go over there. Jesus, Jesus come Christ! On. We'll get your Grand Slam hat to you, little yeah, bitch. Yeah, look who sold you out! Recognize that guy, huh? Oh, guys, I am so sorry! Officer Coxpig and I, we decided to do a little detective work. Yeah, a little Sherlock Holmes stuff. We decided to follow you guys to the hot blonde's house. Inspector Gadget. When I walked in, you two looked spooked. You looked like you actually had to fuck some girls, which seemed kind of off. So, after consulting my partner, we decided to run the address of that blonde's house. And something smelled fishy like your grandma's cunt. Six months ago, that house was flagged on suspicion of drug dealing. Boom, there it is! So, we yeah. did a good old-fashioned stakeout, huh? Trying to see some suspicious shit outside that whore's apartment. Yeah, we're on our Jimmy Neutron shit. 11 a.m. today. We're hanging out, and we see good old schnoz boy rolling through looking like a sketch ball. Oh, that big beak sunburnt bitch! So, we decided to pick him up, and he sold you two out quicker than that piece of shit Popeye sandwich when they talked about it on Twitter. Oh, oh, oh! And just to make you two feel better, those two little skanks are actually in jail right now. God damn it! This is still so hot! Every time I take a sip! I like you two, and I want to work with you. Cox big as well. We'll work with you. Tell him. Tell him what we're gonna do. We got a proposition for you two. Ooh, two labs going down, we're getting a promotion! <laughs> so now... We get to try this again. It's a huge misunderstanding, okay? We had nothing to do with that. What do you guys want from us? You know exactly what we want. Let's try this again. The hearing's Tuesday. You're gonna go and advocate for this band. You're gonna hit all the major points we outlined. How they're addictive, they have more nicotine than cigarettes, how they market to children. Go up there, say everything that needs to be said, and you get out of this with zero damage. <laughs> or we can say we saw you at the scene of the drug deal and you'll go to prison for a long time and get fucked in the ass by big buff dudes with their fucking big old jail dicks. They're gonna ride their hot rods up your Hershey Highway. Yeah, you're gonna have a little wedding in the yard. Oh, you're gonna be the flower girl and the fucking bitch. They're gonna fuck up your fart factory. Smells like mango up there. Guess what? His name's Latrell Mango. He's about to fucking blow some smoke up that ass. You too, bitch ass Do you friend. want them to fuck you in the ass? Obey what we say. Fucking sick of this shit, man. Nope. Dumbass version. I swear I can explain. Dude, I'm the one who gave you Madeline's contact. You would have never had access to that super hot fire if it wasn't for me. And this is how you repay us? They caught me red handed outside of Madeline's. All right, I, I can't go back to jail. I, I would get pounded like a damn gavel. <laughs> You're a fucking sellout, dude. What did you tell them? I, I just said we were friends. And we maybe get our fucking nose booger sugar from Madeline, sure. the corporate chalk pounder. Why would you tell them that? Uh, they, they thought it was the order. What are you saying? What? You're not enunciating, you're they just saying something. Speak up. It's written to deport Maria! I thought you said she had a green card. I thought that, but it was actually a weed card. 
How do you fuck that up? Medical marijuana. Okay, but what about Denny's? How did you know that Madeline's drug dealers would be at Denny's? We all know. Madeline, she does her pickups at Denny's. It's got the best LED lights, so you can see if it's that real shit or not. Okay, all right. The good news is we're all gonna be fine, okay? Stevie just has to go up there in court and testify against the jewel and everything's gonna be good. What are you guys testifying? I can't do this shit. I just wait. What, what are you guys testifying? Later, dude. What Yo, are we Stevie. testing? Testing. Okay. Well, let me know if you guys want to come through the new crib. It's actually much bigger than a crib. I got the tamale. Not MDMA tamales from the quinceanera. What if this cop's getting coffee? Are you pigs got any coffee? Come on, like fucks. Well, at least we got the hot blonde bimbo cartel off our backs. Fuck that and fuck them. It's honestly a good deal they're giving us, man. Just go up there and tell them what they want to hear. I mean, yeah, they're both dickheads who definitely didn't lose their virginities until after college, but they're right, dude. Jewels suck. They've caused literally nothing but problems for us. <sighs> just doesn't feel right. I mean, is it at all possible that maybe, just maybe, the universe is trying to tell us something here? Thanks, Neil deGrasse Tyson. So the universe is trying to tell us something. I'm just supposed to go up there Tuesday and get piped by the long, hard cock of the law. The schlong, if you will. You getting piped is in the best interest of everybody right now, so yes. Yeah, for sure. Go up there and get absolutely reamed. Yeah, man. Just plug. Yeah, that's easy for you to say when there's literally no pressure on you. I'm queen. I'm under pressure. What? Do, 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 do. The pressure. For sure, man. What about all my fans? What are they gonna think if I just cave in and quit jeweling like a puss? The jewel god is dead, dude. It's time to grow up and move on. The jewel god is my identity. You have nothing at stake. Oh, I have nothing at stake? You have nothing at Outback Steakhouse. Oh, I have nothing at A1 Steak Sauce? Okay, wow. How about my sanity and my clean criminal record, which is now very much in jeopardy thanks to you? Did you forget the fact that you didn't pay the drug dealers back and that's what got us into this mess? I don't want to hear shit from you in that department, El Chapo. What? Al Capone? Joe Pesci? Joe Pesci is an actor. Yeah, well he plays a criminal in every film, so that's fair. I'm getting sick and tired of having the same conversation repeatedly, so you won't have to hear shit from me. You know what I'm sick and tired of? I'm sick and tired of being fucking manipulated by everyone. First by you, because you think you're teaching me a lesson by scheduling an ass beating for me, and now by these dumbass loser cops with dad bods. Okay. And the more I think about it, you're just like them. So why don't you all three hang out and have a big fat fucking manipulation party? Shut up, dude. You're jealous that I'm out here chilling, grinding, swerving, enjoying my fucking life, and you losers are just trying to slow me down. I actually can't believe that when your pride is up against literal jail time that we're even having a debate about this. I'm a master debater. You know, I can totally believe it, actually, because you have literally not changed an ounce. You have learned nothing. Hey, think about this for a second, Alex. Jail time wouldn't even be a thing if it wasn't for you, you non jeweling fucking pussy. Yep, classic jewel god. Blame everyone else for your problems and take zero responsibility. Oh, classic jewel god? How's this for classic jewel god? I'm out. Oh, you're out? I'm in and out. You're out? Where are you going? Away from you, motherfucker. I cannot stand your pussy ass. You yeah. refuse to see things clearly. <laughs> yeah. You better get your ass to that fucking hearing on Tuesday. Yeah, I'll do what I want, thanks. You have a chance to make this all right. I have a chance to make things right, D. Eisenhower. You have a chance to make it Walter Crump right. I have a chance to make things right, Howard. You have a chance to make it right, D. Eisenhower. You sack of shit. The current craze of the nation, Jewel, is facing backlash for the selling of their flavored pods. We're talking mango, we're talking watermelon, we're talking cucumber, and so many more. People are asking themselves, what is it about these pods that are so gosh darn tasty? Does mango really make the pussy tango? Is cucumber really fresher than your mom after a shower? Does a clean crack of the Jewel really smack harder than Rice Krispies, my guy. We'll have more information as the story unfolds. What's good? You raised the jewel guy. Leave a message at the bleep or get the bleep out. Hey, man. Uh, the hearing's in about an hour. Haven't heard from you. Hope to see you there, man. Do the right thing. Bye. Dumbass friend. Glad you made it. You two can eat a fat bag of shit. Where the hell's Jewel God? 
Probably banging your mom, dog. You better hope he makes it here, or else it's gonna be you up there on that stand solo dolo. You smell that? Mm-hmm. Smell what? That's a smell of Latrell Mango's penis popping in out of your little lipstick ass. Move it up. Cell block 2A, oh yeah, I've been there. It is stinky. Not as bad as your wife's box. Listen, dumbass. Unless you want to get poked like a goddamn pin cushion at your grandmother's house on quilt day, I recommend you say what needs to be said. Listen to daddy. We are late, we are late, oh, we're later than I thought. Oh my god, is that Maria? Don't you dare look at her, Mr. Tiny Pee Pee. All rise, the Honorable Judge Marshall Rogers presiding. <laughs> Here today, calling case FDA versus Jewel Labs, case number 6BD06969. Hell yeah! I knew I showed up to this case for a reason. Order! Dart, just love the art of 69. I do too, like 69. May I have appearances for the record, please? Michelle Ryan, Your Honor, on behalf of the Food and Drug Administration. <laughs> Officer Bo Bloma, Your Honor, assisting the FDA. Officer Mike Cox Big, it's uh, I'm also assisting the FDA, pretty much just doing a cleanup job, whatever they don't have time to do uh, themselves. And representing Jewel Labs? May it please this fine court, uh, Gavin B. Stabbing, on behalf of Jewel Labs and jewelers everywhere. And this is my boy, he's here to chill. It's good, Your Honor. Thank you, counsel. We have gathered here today to determine whether or not Jewel sales will be banned from this state forward and future generations to come. Mrs. Ryan, are you prepared with your opening statement? This chick blows. Yeah. Like Absolutely, Your Honor. Good morning, everyone. We are here today to settle a pandemic that has been plaguing our nation's youth, the jewel. Oh, Jesus. Yes, those vaporous cucumber clouds polluting the lungs of our nation's youth as well. Smoking in the boys' room. Straight up classic, dog. <laughs> At the conclusion of today's trial, I hope for the love of God, that you side with the people and not this sick fuck. He's not even a real lawyer. He went to the University of Phoenix. Want to be Elle Woods looking ass. Sick flick. It is low key tight. That's all. Thank you, Mrs. Ryan. And may I say you are much more attractive than my wife. Mr. B. Stabbin? Freedom. That's why we're all here today. Our forefathers, George Washington, Jack Daniels, Thomas Cruz. That guy's a square. Traveled across vast oceans and plains just to experience the freedoms that we now have today. Freedoms like sucking down electronic hoot sticks. I would tote down his hoot stick. <laughs> which every jewel lover should be able to pass down to their sons and their sons. That dude's a bitch. After all, this is the United States of America. And after being presented with all of the evidence, we're confident that you'll come to the same conclusion we have. That these guys are here to stay. Ha! Got them! Slick back, Rick. Just like their fathers before them. The cigarette. Thank you, Your Honor. This chick sucks. This guy sells quaaludes, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. B. Stabman. May I say you are much less attractive than my wife. First witness, please. November 18th, 2018. Mrs. Finkelton, is that a night you recall? Well, it was the night my baby boy swallowed the jewel. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, Wu-Tang that shit! Order! Yup, sorry! Pussy can't even swallow a pod. <laughs> and how old is your baby boy, Mrs. Finkelton? He's 16. 16 years old! He's just a child! Ooh, things are going down quicker than Latrell Mango's penis up that Hershey Highway ears. <laughs> Do you guys have any other insults other than me getting pegged in the pen? <laughs> oh, you're a bitch. Yeah, you idiot. And being as that he is a minor, how did he obtain said jewel that he swallowed whole? Well, at school, of course. All the cool kids are smoking the different flavors, specifically mango. Making the pussy tango. I believe that was the term. Hell yeah, it does! Well, someone shut him up, please. Yeah, pipe it down, dude, for real. People got places to be. I gotta go pick up my kids. Please. Sorry, I love <clears throat> puss girls. Uh, Your Honor, I object, okay? Facts, not in evidence. This is pure speculation. I mean, how do we know that only the cool kids were doing it, and the band geeks and the rowing team weren't also getting involved in the action? Mrs. Finkelton, how did you know they were, in fact, the cool kids? Because they were all wearing those thrasher hoodies. Oh, oh fucking bang, bang, skeet, skeet. Hey, this shit's hard. Trying to beat my meat, meat. <laughs> 
Order! Oh. Who else is on right now? Huh. Me. No further questions. <laughs> now, Mrs. Bush, you just testified that you believe Jewel Labs is responsible for little Johnny's nicotine addiction, right? Sucking down two voluptuous mango pods a day. They're savage. New PR. Yes, yes he was, but Jewel Labs was the one providing it to him. But Mrs. Bush, at 13 years old, little Johnny isn't even old enough to buy his own mango pods. No, no he isn't. And you don't recall Jewel Labs holding a gun to little Johnny's head, saying, hey little Johnny, make that Jewel Pod snap crackle and pop like a Rice Krispie, my guy. Right? right? No, no they didn't. Hmm. Hmm. There's no way whatever he's fucking is alive. It's probably just like a, a foam pad he found, like in the back of his apartment. So wasn't that just little Johnny exercising his God-given right to jewel? Whatever. No further questions, Your Honor. <laughs> Fuck you, looks like you have jizz in your hand. Hey, at least someone in here is getting some jizz, yo bag. Ha! Any more witnesses? I sure hope not. I need to get home to my ugly wife. I believe in three things in life. God, the Lord, and the Jewel God. And I'm a religious man. Would I lie to you? Shit, when I first met Jewel God, he busted in my party. I'll be honest, I think this whole court case is bullshit. Sucking down jewels from titties. All the man wants to do is bring flavor to the world. That's what we lack. I knew we had some tight and deep. Getting warm. Watermelon. Peach mango. Watermelon peach mango. Jewel God and Alex, they are homies and we'll do anything for them. These dudes suck. Let the man rip. Jury dismissed. Mrs. Ryan, would you like to take the stand one more time, maybe? Just take a stand? You lost your job. Hey, Stevie, you lost your job. Hey, Joe God, you lost your job. Mango, mango, mango. Rough day at the office? Does it look like you're having a tough Well, this ought to help me. And in order this to have a little bit of self-control, thank you. <laughs> Guy over there did. <laughs> Random old man. So, how you doing, young buck? Here, cheers. <sighs> oh, whoa. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Court case Jewel Labs versus FDA is set to take place right here in Los Angeles this Tuesday. So they're trying to ban those uh, electronic stogies, huh? What's the world coming to? We'll have more information as the story unfolds. Back to you, Spencer. Something like that. Back in my day, they were trying to ban cigarettes. I mean, they all us kids were smoking them. They were all over the place. I guess they're saying that the Jewel-flavored pods are like too marketable to kids or something like that. Well, you know what? They're probably right. I think it'd be good if they banned them. Less worries for us, us parents, you know? I guess. Do you have my jewel? Does someone have my jewel? It's a good start, but it's, it's not gonna settle all the problems. What do you mean? Well, I mean, there's a lot of blame to go around, you know? I mean, if you look at the parents, and you look at the culture, I mean, it's not a one-way street. You guys, this isn't funny, dude. Where's my jewel? Yeah, but, you know, what the, what the hell do I know? I'm just an old geezer here. Yeah. You want a cigarette? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I'd like to call dumbass friend to the stand, please. Good luck, dumbass. Time to turn that butt into a little dog park. Oh, fucking loser. You got this, Mr. Tiny Pee Pee. Dumbass friend, will you please approach the stand? Yes, I will approach the stand, but my name is Alex, not Dumbass. Show them who wears the pants. Yes, not me. Mm -mm. Do you have sworn to tell the truth? The whole truth? And nothing but that truth? So help you God, dude? I'm, I'm sorry, is he fucking with me? I ain't fucking with you. I put that on my mama's side. Dumbass sir, sit down. I'm already sitting. Call me judge. Dumbass. Yeah, he good, your honor. Mr. Dumbass Friend, how would you describe your relationship to Stevie Emerson, AKA the Jewel God? He's my best friend. And would you say that your best friend's online presence sets a good example for the youth of America? Objection, Your Honor. Grounds? It's vague. I'll rephrase. Do you think 
that posting these kinds of videos on Snapchat and Instagram for his millions of underage followers to see is a good thing. Your Honor, I'd like to show Exhibit A. What are you doing? <laughs> Got him. This is a nice rack, though. Order! Objection, Your Honor. He bought all of his followers. No clout. She's got some great tips. Okay, listen, Mr. B. Stabbin. You can hate all you want, but his account is 100% organic. Just like Maria's tits! Will someone shut him up, please? Oh, good. come on. You know damn well he has a bot. I know damn well you need a hair transplant, you fucking turd. Dead. I think we can all agree that those breasts are beautiful and supple, but that's not why we're here in this courtroom today. We are here today because of the thing in between those beautiful yum yum bags. Are we not, Mr. Dumbass Friend? Right, you know what? No. I'm done being called a dumbass. Okay, especially by these two virgins right here. Ooh, look at you. So Got him. These guys have never grabbed Tang. <laughs> this whole thing is a giant circle jerk. Dumbass friend, you had better watch your tone or I will hold you in contempt of court. Go ahead, Your Honor. I don't give a shit anymore. Okay? You want me to say the jewels are bad? They're bad. Got him. You want me to say they market to kids? Yeah, they market to kids. You want me to tell you they make the pussy tango? Well, they do make the pussy tango. Except for these two guys right here. Because these guys get no ass ever. Order! Shut up! I mean, you guys are virgin. I'll talk about how bad jewels are until the cows come home. Nice. Okay, but the one thing that I will never do is sell out my best friend when he's not even here. It's Joe God. He's a complete piece of shit and he should spend the next decade behind bars without parole. Jesus Christ. Bailiff, get this man out of my court. He's out of control. Uh, make my day, wee man. Hey, Playboy, come on. Get your dumb ass up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't do that, Your Honor. Look who made it. Oh, it's Miss Tropical. Latrell Mango's mistress. Mm. Oh, it's Latrell. I want that. Say what needs to be said. It's promotion season. Big bucks for us. And who the hell are you to tell me what I can and can't do in my own court, son? I'm the jewel god, baby. Guy wore his own merch to a courtroom. Nice touch. Nice of you to show up. Thought for sure you ran away. I'm done running from my problems. Bro? You jump? A little bit. I can smell it a little bit. By the way, do you see Maria back there? I mean, Jesus Christ, good for Trevor. Major League bats is an understatement. I mean, Grand Slam home run for Trevor, good for him. Take man. both these clowns away so we can wrap up this circus. Your Honor, may I address you in this entire court before you do that? Okay, well, this better be good. Just... You ain't the hook yet, homie. I will admit, I have not been setting a great example for our youth the past few months. I have been partying hard. Some may say I have been partying like a rock star. Party like a rock. Party like a rock star. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Party like a rock star. I just don't want to be a big rock star to live a year on top of my head from the TN cast. It's totally dude. Party. It's a good ass song, you know that. It's fire. It's fire. That being said, I got caught up in the lifestyle like one does. The jewel boobs, out of those grade A, beautiful top of the line, all organic, 100% delivered straight to your door, fresh, all natural knockers. But those jewel boobs stunts on my Snap and Instagram stories, which were fire, they were harmful. And there's no doubt that these flavors should be banned. Hey kid, easy. Yes, even mango, though it does make the pussy tango. No. Yeah, sure does. You don't want pussies to tango anymore? It make a new pussy yeah, yeah. You're doing too much. Now I will say this, Your Honor. The responsibility for these things does not just fall on Jewel Labs. Obviously. But it also falls on our parents. Hell yeah. On those who look after our youth. It says here this guy is 6'5". That's, that's literally impossible. Our teachers, mentors, coaches, Ronald McDonald. Fuck Ronald McDonald. Yeah, it's factual. It's like a true statement. That's what that means. Now let me say something. I understand that I was not teached very good in high school. Well. But we all need to educate ourselves on the matter and take these dangers of smoking much more seriously. Getting rid of these flavored pods won't solve the entire problem, but I will tell you this. It is a damn good start. And it starts with us. We all need to step up and do our part. And starting from this day forward, I will be doing mine. The Jewel God 
is out. Y'all sit your crusty, funky asses down. In the case of FDA versus Jewel Labs, I hereby rule that effective next Monday, Jewel Labs will be required to remove all flavored pods from sale. Suck it! They will not be permitted to advertise within 1,000 feet of schools or playgrounds. Damn it! Suck my balls, come boy! Come on! Let the pussies tango! And finally, they will not sponsor or advertise at sporting events or concerts that allow people under the age of 21. Woo! This court is adjourned. <laughs> Time to go home to our ugly wives who beat us. This is bullshit! That's all she wrote. So that's it. See how easy that was? All right, you guys got your wish. You can cut the dickhead cop act. We'll cut the dickhead cop act when we want to cut the dickhead cop act. In the meantime, we have quite the story to tell down at the station. <laughs> Boom. You guys smell that? What? It's a promotion with a side of justice. Maybe a little dessert. New oh, Toyota RAV4 oh with leather seats. Zero APR, 15 months. Oh, it's not Latrell's hog okay, coming Jesus out of my Christ. ass. Can we just start with all this? You guys got your wish. Okay, you won, you won. All right, that's it. Ah, all right, right. So we'll Sorry. move on. We're done. Listen, thank you. We needed this more than you guys know. And now you got a couple boys down at the station if you ever need anything. And if you guys ever got a couple pair of those jewel boobs, you know, we're we'll, down a puff puff pass. We'll go to a party if you invite us to one. Thank so. you guys. We did it, brother. We literally GG had did it. We literally P diddy did it. That one sucks. It's terrible. Honestly though, you did it, man, not me. <sighs> Stop. So what made you change your mind with all this? Honestly? I was pissed drunk and that old man was dope. Yeah. I mean, I was the one who created this whole Jewel God persona, this character, and it got way out of hand. I never intended it for it to get this far and I lost myself in it. Definitely should have done this like two years ago, though. That's for sure. <laughs> you're a man now. For real? It's like your bar mitzvah or something. For real, Williams? Hava, nagila, hava, nagila. <sighs> yeah, no doubt. It's been a hell of a journey, though. We've come a long way regardless. But a soldier boy once said, soldier, soldier. All good things must come to an end. Proud of you, man. Thanks, man. Love you, Dad. Love you, brother. Ah, oh, let us bask in these victory grand slams. Call me the MVP of the Carolina Panthers because I'm going to bask in some slam newtons. How about Anthony Hopkins' Silence of the Slams? Oh, okay. maybe you've heard of it. Was that about slams? I could definitely go for some flapjacks right now. Come step in my office. How the fuck are you out of jail? Check this out. What if I told you I never stepped foot? <laughs> I'm one step ahead of you guys. So what if it's super close? Really so so what? It doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter though. You, doesn't matter, though. Over, you. you wish you had super cuts money. Time. You have so crack ugly. weed no. <laughs> I don't want to be here any more than you do. Boss orders. Don't they? Esta. Mi mula. I don't speak French, homie. I believe that's Italian. Sign language, maybe? Where is my money? Okay, look, dude, we just... You know what? I'll handle this. Yeah, Venmo Cash App, either one. Yo, you sure, bro? Yes, I'm sure. It's the least I can do, bro. After everything you've done, I got it. What, 60 bucks? 70 bucks? 75 spankies. We'll call it 100, just because I'm a nice guy and I feel bad about this, okay? Look, boom, you got it, okay? Are we done? Is that it? We got a big spender over here. Okay, so we're all good now, right? We're all square? You think we're square? <laughs> you think we're square? We're more like circles. Fam. What? Why? Why? Well, the boss's bitches, two of my gals, are still locked up. Okay, two of your gals are in prison. That's not our problem. See, that's the thing. You jewel pussies are the reasons why the cops locked us up in the first place. 
Bail. Ten grand. Let's talk. Ten grand? What the fuck? We're not paying ten grand. No. You guys have 24 hours to give me my ten big boys. Meet me at this address, okay? 6 p.m. Unless you want to get whacked off. You gonna whack us off? At least take us to dinner first, Chief. No, no, I meant whacked. Like a mobster. You're gonna whack off a mobster. 24 hours, boys. Can't wait to see ya. What side? All right, well, we're fucked. We're not fucked. Nice knowing we're you. We're not dude. fucked. I have an idea. I have an idea. Are you sure this is gonna work, dude? Gucci down to the sex like I'm Biggie Papi. Dude, I'm serious, though. Like, what if he just pulls out his gun and fucking shoots us? Or what if he, like, misses the signal, you know? Relax, like bro. Just relax, okay? I promise you this is gonna work. Fuck, oh, there he is. There he is. See? You boys aren't nearly as dumb as you look. Hand over the money. You don't see the money until I see the stuff. Stuff? You guys owe me 10 Gs. I ain't talking about the 10 lads. Just Ronda. shut the fuck up and give him the briefcase, dude. This is it? Huh? <laughs> Open it up. Mama! Condoms? <laughs> you guys are comedians? You're about to get fucked, my guy. We got Magnums for Latrell. Hold it right there, dirtbag. You piece of shit. The pen's got some thickies, boy. Oh my You're god. You're about to get stretched. It's gonna be like saran wrap on a Hell Pringles yeah, can. Dude. Sorry, I had to go down this way, buddy. You pussy. Fuck you, guys. Mr. L Mango is about to fucking go ham on that filet mignon you got down there. Yeah. So it look like a fucking pulled pork sandwich after he's fucking done with you. You just wait till the boss lady finds out. We're your boss we, now. That's us now. You're our employee. We got that whole house strapped with cams. Let her come back. You're going to the pen with Latrell and we're not. I haven't shot a dick in so long. Cox, big I'm show why you got your last name, Cox. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. Chill out. Yes. All right, guys. I guess uh, justice has been served. For real. Thank you, guys. It's our job. Yeah, it is. It's our, literally, it's our job. It's our job. You say we do one final send off. Tie this thing up in a bow. <laughs> oh, their dicks are so close to my face. What do you mean? Two words. You boobs. As a half-decent man named Lil Wayne once said, sorry for the wait. Here's the deal, when we switched everything from Stevie Emerson to Slappers Only, we just wanted to remind everybody that we're still here. We didn't leave. Okay, we did this part five, all jokes aside for the fans. We spent a lot of money on this that we probably don't oh, have. Oh, we're in the hole. We are in the hole That courtroom right scene was super expensive, the props, everything, We, but we wanted to do this for you. We wanted to do this for the fans. Again, we wanted to remind everyone that we're still here. It's still the same Stevie and Alex, yeah. so if you wanna come for us now, Jewel, come for us. We don't have shit. We don't have anything. Yeah, for real though, thank you to everyone who has yeah. supported since day one. Um, this was Actually. This was the thing that yeah. That kicked off the YouTube channel. And it feels right that we've, you know, finally wrapped it up with a nice bow. And, <laughs> and uh, this OnlyFans movie is our next big project. It's basically going to be like, dude, where's my jewel? But 10 yep. times better 
10 times funnier, 10 times more professional. We're gonna be running that crowdfund until Wednesday, May 19th. So anytime until then, you can donate. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for staying with us through all this stuff. The OG fans, like we're still here and we love and we appreciate you. If you're not an OG fan, get the f out. I'm not joking. If you're not- Stop watching. Stop watching. We don't want you Unsub. here. If you're not subscribed, obviously subscribe. Only if you're an OG. If you're not an OG, don't subscribe. Uh, turn on the post notification thing because apparently you need to subscribe twice now. And we post Tuesdays and Thursdays, so get with it. Get with it. Peace and love. He just crossed. One, two, three. Slappers only. What is that? I'm gonna pick it up and put it in my ass. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and not even feel anything because it's so fucking. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's so Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> okay, that's a wrap. That's it. Are you alright, dude? Did you hit your head? Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Holy, that's exactly what's the wrap. Cut. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.